The Gospel for Monday of the second week in Ordinary Time is taken from St. Mark, 2nd chapter, 18th to 22nd verse. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloak. If he does, its fullness pulls away, the new from the old, and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into fresh wineskins. The custom of fasting in the Old Testament was a, a discipline of being quiet, not engaged in other activity as we awaited something from God. But whatever we were waiting for is now with us, manifested in Jesus. And what I like about this passage is that it's trying to say something. You can't take a little of the old and a little of the new and come up with something kind of as a compromise. No. What God is revealing in Jesus is radically new. It's a whole new paradigm. And we need to be sure that we've made that leap, that change into this new world, a world of forgiveness, a world of understanding, a world of compassion and empathy. It's an intoxicating new wine. And we have to accept it.
the closing prayer. Father, we're creatures of habit. We've been taught things about you when we were very young, perhaps, and they just are sort of what we have as a default when we think of you. Bless us with the ability to allow you to change that which was there into that which should be. That's your promise of grace, and all we need to do is to say yes. And we ask this in Jesus' name, amen.